Okay, it is Thursday morning. We're at Bayview. Um, we have this cute little beardy here. Not to mention our lovely assistants. <laughs> um, been talking to this guy's mom for almost a week. She said he had a small lump on his head. And by definition, I see nothing small about this lump. Right. But anyway, um, he's been eating okay. So I told her to go ahead and make an appointment for today. Had I known it was that large, I probably would have met her somewhere else. <laughs> Anyway, this whole area here is swollen. There's actually a soft spot right about there, okay? It seems almost soft and fluctuant, so chances are this is gonna be an abscess or some kind of a cystic mass. Um, so this may be a pus cam. This, we're not really sure what this is gonna be, but I'm gonna stick my needle right there in just a second, okay, to pull off a sample. And if it looks like it's an abscess, then what we'll do next is I will grab another syringe, do a small local block, and then we'll make a larger hole so uh, that's where we're at for now. All right, so I'm going to prep it and clean it and get it ready for that next spot. <laughs> All right, buddy. I'm not going to like this. Okay, you got his head good. I got his head. Okay. In theory. Okay. <laughs> so much I'm going to make a promise on right there. It's a spot. Okay. It's a hematoma. Hmm. Look, blood's already clotted. Mm -hmm. Is that one bubble not moving down there? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> no, I knew he was going to try to run. Are you done yet? No. Give that a minute. Here, cut his nails. Oh. Do this, do, do that. Do these, hurry up. Don't look at me. Oh. Between the scales. No chunks are coming out. Do you not think you like this? Mm 
There's the chunks. Oh no, my head deflated. <laughs> Thinking it as you were saying it. <laughs> <laughs> you got stuff coming out of there. Mm -hmm. This wasn't abscess. Doing good. Roby? Kind of name. We're a full service veterinarian. Right. <laughs> you can even answer the phone calls when they come in, when they call. Sounds good to me. You know what they say? Usually when you call a doctor and say they're in surgery, well, you people don't, don't ever, don't, don't, don't ever doubt it. You could be. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we've made a big difference in how this guy's gonna feel. Look at him. Oh, that's a relief face right there. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's heat. No. Dude, I think you like this. There's the chunks. Oh no, my head deflated. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that as you were saying it. <laughs> you got stuff coming out of there. Mm -hmm. This was an abscess. In review, <laughs> um, we actually took a needle in there, pulled off this amount of blood. Actually, for a lizard this size, they uh, that's actually quite a bit of blood. But the good news is that was actually in a pocket, and you can actually see it starting to settle out. That kind of an orangish tint to it, I like that. Mm -hmm. um, he said, "Pretty, yeah, that'd pretty. be a good car color for a car." Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. oh, and and fingernails, okay, yeah. yeah, we're not doing his nails. Um, then we put a local block in and uh, used the 15 blade and put a small hole in there and drained a lot of it out. As you can see, there's the bloody mess. Um, what's really cool about reptiles uh, versus humans or other mammals is uh, we, we uh, larger creatures we think we're better can actually only lose 15% 15, 15 of our blood supply before we go into shock. And a reptile or a bird can lose up to 60% before they go into shock. How's that for cool? No, no. So, with that little bit of tidbit of information, <laughs> don't bleed your reptiles more than 60%, um, which we try not to do it in any way, shape, or form. Uh, so, anyway, that's what came out of it. Uh, once you got it cleaned up a little bit more, there were some more chunks in here. A little bit of purulence came out. So, this is a pus cam. Um, there is your pus purulence and blood. Um, and other than that, we're going to send this guy home we'll probably with some fluoroquinolones and see how he does for a while. Uh, all right, so that's it for now. This little bandage is just so mom doesn't have to see him leaking out of the side of his head. Go home, buddy. I can't breathe. It's on your light. There. <laughs> oh. oh, there you go. Now we can see the lizard. <laughs> there we go. He was in a car accident. Yeah. Good flash. <laughs> Good thing he has Geico. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's my, where's my cousin when I need him? <laughs> Here we go. Okay. All right, dude. All Let's right. get you back to mom.